Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be talking about the Ohio State Michigan game. Now, this game is really, really important for Ohio State, for Michigan, and a lot of other teams. Um, first off, Ohio State, they've lost one against Purdue, and they're really, really looking just to somehow put push into getting the fourth place. Now, for Michigan, they are already in the top four, so that means that if they win this, they'll go to Big Ten Championship, but if they win that, then they probably go to the playoff. For Ohio State, if they win this game, they go a Big Ten Championship. They win that, maybe. Depends. Because of the committee and stuff, and Ohio State right now is not in a very high ranking. That way they can push to get number four. Um, yeah. Now for Ohio State offense, the offensive line is going to be the key importance. Okay? The offensive line is going to... Uh, has to stop the rushing attack and the pass rush of the Michigan team. And if they can do that, then that's going to have Haskins perform well. It's going to have Dobbins or Rapka, whoever's running this week, do well. And that's going to be huge since Ohio State is uh, at home. Now, on the defensive side of Ohio State, the run, the run cannot be like it was last week. You, you do not allow a team to rush over 300 yards, especially when you're looking to be in the playoff. Okay? I'm sorry, but that is just stupid. When you're laying up over 300 yards of rushing attack. And, it, like, you need to stop the thing. You need to stop the rush. But your quarterback safeties are, like, so much passed up that the running back runs right through the, uh, run through the, his offensive line, and by that point, open field, he gets a touchdown. So, you need to stop. Otherwise, you're not winning this game. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not winning the game. And again, with the cornerbacks and safeties, stop the pass. Just stop it, okay? If you can stop the the pass, or uh, if you can... If you can stop the run, that's going to force them to pass. And if you do good passing defense, then you're going to have Michigan not score many points. And that's going to help big, big when it comes to um, allowing points, allowing yards, allowing uh, allowing those 60, 70 yard plays that you've been giving up all season. Um, you just stop. Now, on special teams for Ohio State, um, in the Michigan State game, they had really good special teams. If they do that again, it's going to be huge because when you've got a team like Ohio State going against Michigan, th these two teams, they come together. They do not give up, okay? It could be the fourth quarter, and it could be tied. These two teams do not give up. It could be an unranked team against number one, and it could be the closest game ever with these two. And so special teams is going to be the hugest part of this game. If Ohio State can somehow block a field goal or block a punt, and then also have the punt do what he did in Michigan State and kick inside the five a bunch of times and get, get bad field position for Michigan and good field position for Ohio State, that is what is going to help this game decide who will win. It's going to be the special teams and then along with that it's going to be the defense and then offense. Like offense may not even be the most important part of this. It may be the defense and special teams. And so uh, with this game it, uh, usually this game did only is decided by one or two plays. Okay? It depends on uh, if you make it on the fourth down play or you or you punt inside the 5 instead of punting it inside the 20. It has huge implications on rather you winning or losing. So, um, it, it's just crazy uh, that it's like this, but that's how it is. This 5 rate is so big that, that you can't count anything out. You just can't. My, my final guess is that Ohio State will actually win by 7. Now, now how do you ask this? 
they're going to overtime. That's my guess. These two teams are going to go into overtime. And somehow, Ohio State is going to pull out. Okay? I feel like Ohio State would, uh, would block a fourth, a third down attempt. Uh, third and goal attempt. And overtime, they'll, uh, they'll block it. And then they have to go south. And then Michigan has to go south for field goal, but they miss it, and then Ohio State will come up and win. And so that's that's kind of my guess with uh, this. So um, ho- hopefully they win, and if they don't, I don't know. But my final guess, uh, Ohio State's going to win by 7. My final score prediction, 42-35. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.